Welcome back to the Sneaker Division. It's your boy Jeremy Cash. Caesar Perez. And we have an unboxing for you guys today. Yes, sir. So I finally got a win. Yeah, you were Foot saying Locker. with Foot Locker. Yeah, it's the first time ever with them. Ever. Ever. Yeah, I've gotten, I think, ever, two ever, pairs ever, through ever. them. Ever, 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 ever. I never win with Foot Locker or <laughs> any of them punk asses. So anyways, yeah. I'm pretty happy. Um, so I cop the Jordan 11 retros, the eyes. Oh, snap. Yes, sir. You know me. I'm a Jordan 11 head. I love the silhouette, as you can see. And you like breads, too. Yeah, I do. Like <laughs> um, but as you can see, nice little combo silhouette that I got put in here with the Chicago Bulls jersey um, it goes perfect with it you know what I mean look at that this is dope yeah and then um, unlike the patent leather on the uh, original 11s this got more of that see through mesh yeah I see that around that which is pretty cool it's still got the patent leather like on the uppers and the toe box and everything like that but it's got like the mesh otherwise in other well, places and it's got like a suede that or suede that covers the mesh right it's suede and then there's regular leather not the patent leather the patent leather is that shiny oh okay shiny what's up here though leather. this is it's just up? leather okay it's just leather regular this is leather, leather. this gotcha. is leather the patent one is that shiny shiny one gotcha and they got um, the nice embroidery on their tongue which that's also got the regular leather and which is nice because yeah. like um on some of them like it's a different material but this one's got that smooth leather so it doesn't it's, not it's like actually a, a mesh breaker. if you look at the actual tongue it's a mesh of like um cloth knit like in the bottom and then like at the top it's all leather yeah um and then this you can see the uh the actual like suede and the triangles and like the the um the mesh that you can see through right and i think it shows it again on the side of it so you can like really see through it like you can like even see the red inside the shoe right there absolutely so but then you can also see on the back right there on the back of the heel that those don't those aren't see-through so there's like five triangles on the back right there that aren't see-through at, at all um but everything else gets to breathe though so you're like your toes get to breathe the side of your foot gets to breathe absolutely so it's a good basketball shoe that you get to still have some um, some good breathway, and you can see the mesh even clear right there on the inside of the shot on the insole. Yes, sir. It's, it's a great summer sneaker, straight up. That's what it was released for. It's, Especially for Florida. Yeah, absolutely. Look at the and soul. I love that too with the Jumpman logo, and you, oh, yeah. uh, you can even see the Jumpman logo like closer up, and uh, the, the fiber, like the, the carbon, carbon fiber, fiber right? yeah, all the way through it. Yeah. It's not just that one little patch. It actually goes through all the way, and then they got the rubber outsole over top of it. So, Absolutely. But I always like whenever they do the translucent and, like, show stuff underneath. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty dope. I'm very happy with it. It brings me back memories. It's This is more of why I copped it is because of the memories. I remember when the original of this first came out. It was I was, at the time, at uh, living up north, and at the time it was called Adventure World. It's now called Six Flags, but everybody was rocking these. They were fresh and I wanted a pair so bad, but they were sold out. Um, yeah, man, it just brings back memories of good times of, of that year. And so to me, it was more of like an emotional, yeah, emotional purchase more than anything else. And I'm very happy that I won. See, I have none of those emotional ties because I never, I had Walmart shoes growing up and Payless shoes, so yeah. I never got a Nike. My first pair of Nike was when I was like almost, when I was actually already 30, I think. <laughs> so, but hey. you didn't want any of the shoe? You didn't, you didn't look at any of the show? You didn't care about sneakers? I couldn't, man. Like, what was the, what's the point of pining over something that I'm never going to get? I, I would rather get video games because I can See, actually like buy a video game and like do something with it. So that's what I spent my money on. Cool. But yeah, uh, but yeah, these are awesome though, man. I like them a lot. Um, Jordan 11s are one of those ones like, no matter what, it always sells out. And if you sit on these for a while, obviously we're, they'll go up for resale. But these are for your personal collection, right? Yep, absolutely. That's what's up. Remember, until next time, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And we will catch you later. Bang, bang. Thanks for watching our video, guys. There's more over here if you like where that came from. Like and subscribe. 
and hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. We'll catch you later.